I got something interesting for you. You might want to check it out. All right, so right after the Apple event, I did something I guess I would do as a mechanical engineer who has a 3D printer at home. I decided to actually make a little 3D mock-up of the iPad mini because I was interested to see what the size was. I pre-ordered one today, but I really wanted to see how it would be in the hand, and I didn't want to wait until next week when I will actually get it. So let's kind of compare them between a few different products, and let's see maybe how it looks in comparison. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If this sounds interesting to you and you want to see more things like this, then definitely make sure you hit up the subscribe button and like the video so it can push it out to more people. Come on, let's hop in. Six hours and 40 minutes later, and you know what? I forgot around the edges of the screen. All right, so right here you can see a few things that I've laid out to compare to the size of the iPad mini sixth generation. As you can tell, um, you can pretty much easily put it in your hand um, and just use it as like a single hand. Uh, I imagine this would be very good for reading books on and taking quick small notes and just, you know, watching something and it will be a bit bigger than your phone. Although it is more similar to the phone size than the actual iPad size. In fact, you can fit probably about a little bit over two of these on the actual um, iPad Pro 12.9 inch screen, as you can see there. Also, I just wanted to show you the comparison of the size of the actual um, Apple Pencil to the uh, side of the uh, iPad mini. And this mock-up was done on my 3D printer, the Ender 3 Pro. It's not the most calibrated uh, 3D printing machine, at least mine isn't, um, but uh, print turned out pretty okay. Some things, uh, you can definitely see some flaws with the print, but overall um, good enough to get a good idea of the size. And then here's the comparison between the actual phone and the, uh, um, and the iPad mini. Obviously with the Pro Max, it's gonna be a lot more similar to this size. Um, still, this is gonna be bigger, but uh, I think they're not going for the market of the people who have the 12 Pro Max. As you saw in the launch video, they were showcasing some pilots and they were showing medical professionals using it because it fits in their small cockpit or the small uh, the lab coat pockets that they have and it'll be put to good use in those professions, but for regular people, it'll be good for reading books and writing quick notes. It's very similar to like the sketchbook right here. Uh, it's obviously a little bit shorter than the sketchbook, but a lot of notebooks that you will buy, um, at least the smaller ones will be roughly the size. This is the size of some smaller paperback books as well. So overall, I'm really interested to see how this form factor will fit into my usage ever since I graduated from school. This has felt a little bit too big and clunky for me, and I was debating getting a smaller iPad, either the iPad Pro 11 inch or the iPad Air, but I'm um, gonna test it out with this and see how I like it. I know there's a lot of people that do like the mini size and they've been wanting this redesign, so I'm really excited to see what happens, and I'll be getting mine on Friday, the 24th, so be sure to look out for some content for that. And then yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'm gonna be getting some cases to show you guys, and until next time, don't forget to take it easy with some tea.